In 2017, overdoses by opioids and other drugs killed an estimated 72,000 Americans, according to the Centers for Disease Control. By comparison, over 40,000 Americans died the same year from car accidents. An astonishing comparison of figures here. Every day, we continue to combat this deadly drug epidemic. A new book titled The Addiction Solution, Treating Our Dependence on Opioids and Other Drugs, examines the disease from a psychiatrist's perspective and offers some practical solutions if you or someone you know is dealing with substance abuse. Here to tell us more is psychiatrist and professor, Dr. Lloyd Sederer of Columbia University's School of Public Health and the author of that book. Doctor, nice to have you here with us. Thank you so much for covering this critical subject. Yeah. Let me start with an overarching issue, if you will. We tend to toss out terms such as crisis, sometimes fairly casually. But in looking at this scenario, is this indeed a genuine public health crisis? Indeed, uh, it is an epidemic. It's been declared an epidemic by the CDC. And the numbers of deaths continue to rise every year. We're not doing what we need to do, and we've beaten back a lot of epidemics. I'm a public health doctor. Think of polio, think of smallpox, think of how we reduce driving deaths. Yeah, where we've uh, been successful. We, we have approaches uh, that can work, but we're not using them enough yet. Let me talk about some of the things that you talk about in the book here, because I love the way it's, it's organized. And you start off in the beginning focusing on factors, yeah. things that, that draw people into this in, insidious involvement. Uh, with these drugs, and, and people from across socioeconomic platform, if you will. Talk a little bit about, about what you found in terms of these factors. We humans are active ingredients in our experience with a drug. It's not just the drug, it's the drug and the person. And in one chapter, I identify 10 different factors like um, our internal uh, psychology, our early trauma and experience that puts us at risk. Our second, our uh, circumstances, the social environment in which we live in, poverty, violence, uh, a lack of prospects for the future. These are all additional risk factors. Age is a risk factor. The earlier the age of exposure to a drug, the more the brain is apt to be altered by it. That's a big so issue. So you're talking about physiological cannabis. things, yeah. not just willpower. Because the brain is, be, is under construction. Our brains are under construction well into our 20s, longer for young men than for women. So age is a factor. What should people know about in terms of the treatments that they should be looking for that would be most effective? It's a tough disease. It's a chronic relapsing disease, whether it's opioids or uh, cocaine or alcohol. And treatment then needs to be robust. When you combine recovery, 12-step programs, with cognitive treatment programs, this is about relapse prevention. We respond to cues. Uh, like the sight of somebody using the smell of a substance, we can actually mitigate that. Medications, we have now very effective medications to reduce craving and to reverse overdoses. We need to be doing that. Family education and support. Families need to be guided about how to respond, how to help somebody with an addiction. You put these together, someone is much more apt to have a uh, good response and stay alive and get better. Last question for you. We started this conversation by talking about the extent of, of this situation and the fact that it is indeed a crisis. You've been actively involved in it here. Do you find that there's any cause for optimism? Absolutely. There's overwhelming evidence that people recover from addiction. We're just not very good at predicting when. And because it's a chronic relapsing condition, along the way, people are going to slip and fall. That's when we have to keep hope the most alive because it's so demoralizing to someone who's addicted, to their family, even to the clinicians. We have to continue support, optimize support at those moments and keep hope alive. Well, as I mentioned before, the book is called The Addiction Solution, Dr. Lloyd Cetera. This is a marvelous look at a very complicated and compelling problem here for us. But we appreciate your spending some time in talking with us and the good work that you're doing. Thanks for coming in and visiting. It's great to be here. Thank you. You be well. And for more information on Dr. Lloyd Cetera's book, you can visit our website at metrofocus.org.